Hello, friend, and thank you for joining me on the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from channel listener Veronica King, Heber Springs, Arkansas. A single heart. I see the temple filled with wares, the courtyard overgrown. I knocked and you invited me in, but who is on the throne? Too many distractions and lovers enshrined. I can visit but cannot abide. I made the seat of your heart with sign posted on, an occupancy of one. There is no area in our lives where the enemy trips us up more than in romantic relationships. Dedicate your thoughts and actions to God. Do not let yourself be ruled by the distractions of pleasure and entertainment or gaining things. Grow up in the Lord. Let him make you stable and mature. Do not be so desperate for love that you make bad choices. We cannot allow sin or our own self-will to rule in our hearts. I was in a relationship, but there was always strife. We were very different and wanted different things in life. I cried out to God for months and months. Finally, when I again was letting it consume my thoughts, trying to reach an understanding of why things hadn't worked out, God said, you made that. If God is not the foundation, it will not stand. You have detoured off the path that he had for you. If this catches you when you are not in a relationship, let me encourage you to stop looking. Purpose first to take time out and give God your undivided attention. He deserves it. You will not be disappointed. I can guarantee he has something to show you, something to teach you, some area he needs you to heal in or in which you need to grow. Let him help you. First, let go of what is keeping you from his best. Our self-will is so strong, but wrestle against it. Be kind and loving to people, but stay in friendship mode. Do not yoke yourself to them. God, let the Lord God bring his choice for you into your life, in a relationship with a person who is not wholeheartedly devoted to God. We think he will change them, but those are fateful words. Let God heal and mature you. And then he will join you with someone on your level. Pray about every attraction. Do not consider letting someone close for your relationship unless you see evident fruit. You'll avoid many mistakes and heartaches and wasted time. Until he brings someone, make God your priority. Give him the seat of honor. Quiet yourself and learn to let him be your focus. Give him first place. Let him sit on the throne of your heart. There is no one more deserving. See Exodus 23, 31 through 33 for confirming scripture. Friend, let's pray into this word. Heavenly Father, I thank you for our dear sister Veronica. Lord Jesus, I pray that we would all have a single heart, that we would pray, Father. Pray to you, an audience of one, Father. And while our heart may feel single, we know that it is united with you first and foremost. Lord Jesus, may we play to an audience of one. And Lord Jesus, as we look to you, as we follow you, as we trust in you, we know, Father, that you will bring those relationships into our life that are God-ordained, that are on your plan, in your timing. Thank you, Lord, for your timing. I pray right now for my friend. Friend, if you find yourself single today, know that God has you right in the center of his will. Don't look to the left or to the right. Seek God, pursue God, because the promise is all these things will be added unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.